hello and welcome in this video i am going to show you how you can create and add environment variable into your android app project using environment variable instead of hard coded text is very important as it helps you to protect sensitive api keys and other data getting exposed in code base or git repo apart from this using environment variable also gives you flexibility in setting various app configurations example free version and paid version of same app now let's get started by creating a blank android app project in android studio all of this code will be available in my github repo you can check the link in a description after watching this video i will teach you two simple method to create environment variables there are also other methods for using environment variable in gradle but i find this too quick and simple if you want you can check official gradle doc to learn more about it first method is by using local.properties file in your android app project there is a file name local.properties in your root directory of project this file is by default generated by android studio and also by default added to dot git ignore file to ignore this file during git reposing that is why using local dot properties file to save all your environment variable is much more safer open the dot local dot properties file and write a variable with its value for this video i will be writing variable name as var1 but you can write anything after this now you have to add this variable from local dot property file into project and for that we will be using gradle.build file to load environment variable from local.property file to the project there are two files one is gradle build file on project level and other is gradle build file on module level you can use any file to load environment variable depending on your requirement but for this video we will be using gradle build file on app module level because later we have to display variable as text on mobile screen so open gradle.build file of app module and at the top of this file we will declare a variable name my var1 my val1 which means my variable and use gradle local properties functions to load a local dot property file and also import this package at the top of the file otherwise there will be an error now use get property function and mention the name of variable that is var1 and also mention default variable as null or you can leave it blank now scroll down to default config function here we will save the value of my val1 variable in android xml string file so that when we start gradle sync process our environment variable value will automatically generate strings in android xml which we can use in app for this video i have created a simple text element in jetpack compose to display text string which will display environment variable value on screen you can use it the way you want just remember to use get string method to call value from android xml strings now let's have a look at second method which is slightly similar to first method but the only difference is instead of using local local.property file we will use gradle.property file to save all our environment variable but be careful because generally gradle.property file is not ignored by git by default because in this file we generally store various project configuration so if you have any non-sensitive variables for your app configuration then this method is perfect for you open the gradle.property file and write the variable with its value just like previous method we will load this environment variable file from gradle dot property file to project via build dot gradle file but we will use find property function and mention the name of variable then scroll down to default config just like previous create a string value in android xml from gradle and finally perform gradle sync in project create a simple text element in jetpack compose to display text of environment variable now debug and run the app and that's it it is as simple as it is these are two simple method to create and use environment variable in your android app project rest you can use your creativity on how to use it and use the way you like it that's it for this video i hope you like it and if you are interested in more android and web development videos then subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video with everyone have a nice day and bye bye